So then uh, you also had some thoughts. I did not get to see the video yet on the on the walk through the Lathrop plant. Mm -hmm. And this, of course, is your, you know, you wish you were there doing that walkthrough and, and yeah, take it to yourself. Yeah, but uh, so what, what did you learn on the walkthrough? Yes, um, so I was not on the walkthrough. This was with Tesla owners of Silicon Valley. And let me let me get this pulled up so people can find it. Okay. Here it is. So 25, 26 minute video. I'm guessing it's on their YouTube as well. Sure. First ever recorded walkthrough of the Tesla Mega Pack factory in Lathrop. I thought it was really cool to see the space. You get to see the different, um, and the, I'll just like uh, show a, a tiny bit of it. Uh, you get to see the different stations. The tour guide was really good. Um, they had this body in white portion where they make the enclosure and then they, they clean that, uh, they have this huge machine to, to move the roof of the container on top of it. Uh, <laughs> then, uh, they, they talk about, uh, some of the assembly. We learn about why they're painted white, how heavy they are, but we, uh, I kind of spoiled that. So. Uh, she said they're 84,000 pounds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had, I had been giving out an 82,000 pound number, which is what Drew Baglino said. And I talk about the safety uh, with it. So the, these are roof vents. Mm. Uh, so if you have a thermal event, it can, um, mm. the roof hatch will open up. Um, and then they show inside uh, these bus bars, how they connect them electrically they talk a bit about the plumbing to keep them cool uh so i i thought it was really cool because well one uh i'm i'm a, a big fan of the mega packs i may not be the biggest fan but i'm 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 up there yeah yeah a and uh it, it was cool to see inside the factory and get a sense of the space and the workstations there did they give you any news at all? Did they indicate anything about production or future production? Or Yeah, so they said they had doubled their production to 10,000 per year. Okay. Uh, so, so what they said was 200 per week. Okay. And and that would be the 40 gigawatt hour number. So sad face a little bit. I, I'm not sure if they're limited to 40 at this factory how the equipment's laid out um i'm not really sure what the limiter is when when they stop by certain stations it seemed like um this a lot of the stations were stopped so i don't know if they were waiting for body on white or body in white or the cleaning or if they were waiting on batteries i don't know but um so I'm not really sure what the bottleneck is right now. Um, I'm losing a little hope that they they might like suddenly have a capacity of 80 gigawatt hours at at Lathrop at that specific building at least. Mm -hmm. Right, could put another building in right next door or down the street. But in terms yeah. of that building with that current uh, layout, it might be maxed out. Okay, yeah. might, but we don't really we still don't actually know. And. It may be one thing that could give us a little hope is they did give this tour, so why are they giving the tour? Yeah. And maybe they maybe they want more employees at Tesla Lathrop to maybe add another building or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's that's uh, that's really cool that they put that out. Uh, that along with. Our